Hey everyone, today me and Asha are off to Matt's to go and check on the plants and just go on a bit of a, an adventure down there. Asha's keen to get in the car. Keen. Come on. Oh yeah. I'm still trying to keep the growth low and I keep cutting them and cutting them but um, they get no water, no fertiliser, nothing. <laughs> no love for these. Oh well, yeah the kids get kicked uh, soccer balls at them and things like that. That's sort of a love. <laughs> Say that again? You look like a Dino. You've got that, that Dino look at me. What was that? I said you look like a Dino. You look like you should be selling plants. <laughs> Did you hear that, that look about everyone? I've got that look about me. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You were saying about your mate. Okay. I gave some plants to a mate of mine um, living down from Ruchidor and he can't get out of his apartment and he would like he would like to make things look um, better out there. So he's got a balcony and so I said I would give him some plants. So I, I took the plants down to him and when I saw what the... Um, what the plants meant to him, then I started to see through um, through another set of eyes. So, small balcony, so it's about maybe three metres long. Yeah. Um, it's only got room for about four or five plants. And these plants to him are like pets. So, yeah. he's he, he was insisting that we buy just the right pots for them. Those pots are beautifully set up. The plants are, are located in just the right um, place. And you know what he's what he sees. He sees that where there was this just this harsh backdrop. Now there are these beautiful green plants that are living things, purifying the air, depending on him. So he he then is responsible for feeding them and for watering them. And it um, it's it's very meaningful um, for you know, for people in those circumstances to actually have something that they can watch grow and, and they can contribute to their growth and health and I think it's a great thing. Okay, come here. Come here. There's something out there. A room. I shall see. See the tail go? Anyway, so I think people in apartments, um, if they're anything like, like my friend here, that um, you look around an apartment there's quite often nothing there that's living or growing. And yep. You put a plant there and all of a sudden something that changes from week to week something that uh, re relies on you and if you if you give it a little bit of time and attention it it uh, responds and you know develops health and continues to grow and change and um, and make the apartment a lot more attractive so so tomorrow can you hose it yep and give it a good soaking because this hasn't this hasn't been watered for um, probably probably a week now yep which is fine for these I was trying to dry things out because we had so much rain and wetness before that and I was just trying to dry them all out agave gemniflora gemniflora so when you um, when you come at these bring your hands up from underneath because if you just go in there you're going to get stabbed but if you bring it in underneath and you can move around and pull the weeds out and do things like that move the pots but um, you don't want to come down that way because they'll get you. Zamia furforacea. Hey, you're not bad. Done my homework. Please. One more Dracaena Dracor. No bugs here. Dogs though. Is your dogs? Oh, so that's where the Sea Haven sign went. 
That's where the Sea Haven sign went. Oh, actually, went. I, used to, I used to collect them from all the old, the old jobs. So, you know, I did the um, I did the renovations of Sea Haven, like the whole rebuild of it. I didn't know that. Yes, no. So, yeah. we, back when we were kids, we used to call it the Haven of Misbehaving. See this? Yeah. I mean... <laughs> it can't hear you. <laughs> you don't, don't need to look. I was just showing you. This is what... Um, is they go into here. Yeah. And that's just a plant tag. So I've got them for... For the furphoracea. Yeah. And I've got it for the... For the Gemini. I don't have any for the Dracaena, but I do have for the uh, Psychus Revoluta. The Dracaena Draco just speaks for itself. <laughs> so when you uh, when you go to pot, uh, uh, repot, mate, you just grab these here, like yep. that. Yes. And you turn it upside down. Yep. I suppose I like to show you. You turn it upside down like that, and then you, because you're holding the soil. Yep. You mix them, and then you just tap it on the side of something hard, and that'll just pop off. It won't take much. Just drop it straight into the uh, the clean pot. You see Rouge? You see Rouge? See those plants, eh? Yep. That's a certain presence. They'll make good presents too, I reckon. I reckon so too. I reckon they'll, they'll make a great gift. I'd be very happy receiving that. Plants are a gift of love. They are. You know, I'm thinking also, yeah. Yeah. There's a product called Eco Oil. And what I do, I might give you some of this because if you spray this, it's it's actually made of um, all organic oil. So I think it's got things like citrus oil and eucalyptus oil and all these sort of things in it. Yep. So we use it to, um, to control um, things like scale. But it um, it does make it does create a um, a glossier leaf and makes it smell nice. So you might put some in a spray bottle or something like that and give them a spray before they yeah they go around. sure. Hey, Ro. Did he say hello or? Harrow. Oh, I knew you'd say that. <laughs> Good show.